Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, I will be showing you how to create a project as well as add candidate to, candidates to the project. Simply navigate to the left and click on projects. All right, and once you have done that, you click on new. All right, add new, and we are creating our project from scratch. All right, so we have the settings here. We have the emails, the raters, the questions, and the forms. All right. So we are going to create the name of the project. So the name of the project is the name of the vacancy that you are hiring for. So we are hiring for an IT support manager. Okay, so we have IT support manager, we have the department, and um, it's quite easy and simple to add departments. We have covered that in another module. So if you don't know, please go back to that module. So this one, I would like it to be under marketing. Right. So the project description is basically high level, um, level about um, high level about what this project is about, and I can just go to Google and uh, Google what this vacancy is about, and I can click there, paste that, and have my description there. The intro video so we have a library when you click on the drop down and you are able to select from here it is not a prerequisite so if you do not want to add it it is okay as well as the project description if you do not want to add it it is still okay you can continue without adding that right so i will have this intro video from the line manager this remember is the first video that the candidates will encounter before they take their interview. So it's the CEO, the line manager, or you as the manager, um, just telling the candidates what they can expect and calming their nerves and congratulating them, encouraging them, motivating them to give their best during the interview. All right, so we are going to continue and add a start date. So what is the start date for this project? So I can click there and i want the start date to be tomorrow so i can click on 14 or i can just type it out 20 2022 14 12 okay it's pre-populated right and open project so an open project is a project that has no end date it has a start date but no end date so candidates can continuously send in their interviews um, towards this project so this is very helpful for like sales positions where you are continuously hiring for this particular vacancy and you don't want to create a new vacancy um, every month for this. So you can just keep it as an open project and candidates can just send in their CVs or send in their interviews for the vacancy, right? However, if you want your project or your vacancy to have an end date, then this is where we can select it. So the end date is next year, 2023, 20, 01. 24 okay so that's it and if i want to stop here i can just click on save as draft i can log out i can log back in click on projects and then i will see the name of my project so the title the the project name um, it support manager and i can continue um, adding everything else that was not added um, before i saved the interview um, as a draft Okay, but for now, I will click on next. Okay, so we're done with that. So the emails. So the email template to be used when inviting um, candidates. So this was um, covered under interview guides as to how you can um, create this. So you can click on the drop down there. And I want to use the custom invitation for this particular project. So I will click on custom invitation right and um, the send from um, email address so you can customize this and you can add more um, so we can um, send from info at wembley.io if we don't want it to come from no reply at wembley.io 
but that is the one that is selected there and we can have the reply to email address so this is the email address on the candidate invite um, where candidates can reach out to somebody in the organization if they have any questions or queries about the interview it is not the support because we do have live support um, however it's just for candidates if they want to know like when can I follow up on this um, vacancy? When can I expect feedback if for those kind of questions? Then they can reach out to this particular email address. Right, so we can move on to the next one. Okay, raters. So we have four options here. Blur candidates interviews for raters. Okay, so we can blur the candidates interviews and however the raters will still um, clearly hear the candidates answers for the interview questions and you can click on that if that's what you wish if not then you leave it unticked um this one says notify raters when a candidate completes an interview which is very useful because then the, the raters don't have to consistently be on their Wembley portal however once the candidate has completed an interview then a notification will be sent and the raters can go now to Wembley and rate that particular candidate right and the next one says display all candidates information to raters so if you want all the information that the candidate has provided to be displayed to the raters then you are welcome to do so if not then you will leave that unticked right the next one says notify admin when raters have rated so as an administrator you can be notified to say that this rater has completed or has rated this candidate and you can go and have a look at the holistic um, overview of all the raters and it can also help you if you want to remind raters to rate candidates right so here are some of the raters that are here and remember it is so important to remember that the people that are here or the users that are here are only here because they are also part of the marketing department okay so if you wanted somebody a user a specific user and you aren't seeing them here it is because the department that the project is under is not the same department that the user is under so you have to go back to users um, on the left and make sure that the department is the right department so make sure that the, the departments correspond and correlate right so for this project I'd like Rosetta and test rater to rate so I have two raters and I'll click next right so now we are creating questions we can create on the fly so you can create your own so you can click there right and you can create all your questions here on the fly without an interview guide however to save time if you have created an interview guide you can come back and you will find it here so if I'm just looking through here and I want my interview guide, here's my interview guide one that I have, um, I had created and it's an IT support one. So I can click there and here are some of my questions and I'm happy with my interview guide. Um, if I want to add more questions, I am able to do so here. Um, add questions, maybe like, what is your name? Okay, so there I can alter this if maybe I feel like tell me tell us about yourself needs more preparation time. I can change it there. Um, I can remove it from 30 seconds to 60 seconds. I can uh, the name I can change it to from 60 seconds to 30 seconds. It all depends on me and what I want for this particular project. Right. And um, the total time here is a nice reminder that this is the amount of time that the candidates will be spending in this interview um, taking or answering the questions. We also have an allow breather between questions. So this is just a minute just so that, you know, the candidates can, usa, you know, collect themselves and prepare themselves for the next question. They don't, however, see what the question is. It's just for them to breathe and take a, a kit kat <laughs> um just to relax before they um dive um, into the next question however if you do not want them to have a breather then you would untick that 
Okay, so I'd like my candidates to have a breather between the questions. So I will click on next or, and maybe if I feel like, mm, maybe what's your name is not the perfect question, I can simply click on the three dots and delete the question. Pretty simple. And that also decreases the time that the candidates have to answer these questions. So now the interview, the total interview time will be four minutes, 20 seconds. Right, so that's that with the questions, we can move on. Right, and the form. So we can use the WAMD default form um, or we can select a form. Right, so the WAMLI default form, maybe I have forgotten what it looks like and I can just preview it there. Okay, so this is what it looks like and these are the questions that the candidates will have to answer and this is the information I can retrieve um, from the candidates. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Perfect. However, I have created my own form that I'd like to use for this particular project and I remember that and that's perfectly okay. So this one, this is the one I'll use. I can preview it as well. Okay, and see that it's still the relevant form that I want to use. I can close there and I can click on select form. Okay, so once the form is selected, when I scroll up, I see then now it says here currently selected. This is the form that will be used um, for my candidates for this project. That's that. I'm done with everything and I can click on update. Right, so very high level. We have created the project. We haven't added candidates yet, but everything that we need to know about this project is on the landing page. So we have the, the department name, we have the interview time, we have when the interview will start, when it's supposed to end. Um, the project link hasn't be, been created because the project is still under draft and it has not been activated yet. We have um, the initials of the raters, but if you just hover there, you'll get the name of the rater for this particular project. So now I want to add my candidates. So you can either click there on add slash edit candidates, or you can just click here and add your candidates. All right, and then click there on add candidates. So we have three options um, of how you can add your candidates. We have one, you can add them manually, two, you can import from ATS, Three, you can um, import candidates from CSV. So the ATS and the CSV, these are integrations that you would have had to set up under my organization. And it is a different module that I will take you through on how to add candidates using these imports. However, for today, we are just going to cover how to add candidates manually. Right, so you would click on option one. Right, very simple, very easy. You can start with the email address of the candidates. This is helpful when you have the candidates information. Right, so I will click there. Um, it's only pre-populating because this candidate is remembered in the system. However, I would have to add their email address, add their first name, their last name, and their phone number. Once I'm done with that, I can click on update. Okay, so I have one candidate there. Um, I'm happy with that and now I can go back to project if I back to project if I don't have any other you know, any more candidates to add all right so everything looks good and I'm happy with the layout and everything and I can see I've added one candidate nobody has completed an interview because the the project is still under drafts and this would be for the ratings okay so now i'm ready to activate my project so i'll click on activate right um so it says ready to activate your project and at this point if you click on activate and you get an error message it only means that there's something that you didn't do and the system will alert you that maybe you didn't add an end date and you didn't add you didn't notify the system that this is an open project or maybe you didn't add raters um, to your project so then you can go back and fix that then activate your project but let's see if I click on activate. Okay, hooray, um, your project is live. So as soon as I click activate, the system has already sent my one candidate the interview link. So the candidate has received um, an interview um, email 
saying that they've been invited to a one-way video interview and here's the link they can click on the link or copy the link into their browser and start with the interview all right so once i've activated my project and i still want to add more candidates i can simply do so by clicking on add slash edit candidates um add all my candidates and click update they will also receive their invites however if i don't want to or i don't have my candidates email addresses i can just click on here so this is to share the project link. I can click there. I can click on copy. So copy this. I can go back to my Outlook. I can go back to my fresh desk and I can structure an email saying, hello candidates. Um, here's an interview link for this particular project that you are interested in. Please take your one way video interview and I can paste this generic link there. And once the, candidates take the interview or once they fill out the form the candidates information will automatically pre-populate onto this project page and i will see not just one candidate but i'll see the candidates who have added themselves to the project and that's it uh, for this lesson Thank you very much. Um, I hope it all makes sense. If you have any questions, we are on. We do have a live support, and you can just click on this bottom um, bottom right leaflet, and uh, we have a live support consultant that is ready to help you. Thank you very much. Goodbye.